Good morning and happy Halloween. Uh, this is a video that I would typically reserve for my response of Nolts channel, but I wanted a lot of people to see it. And the subject is a disaster plan if your account gets closed. Now this morning I woke up to look at the Mike Skihan uh, collab video for Sari Cray's birthday. Happy birthday, Sari Cray. And his account's gone. So I did some searches and there are uh, really no good uh, explanations as to why his account was closed. If you know Mike Skihan, and many of you don't, he's a very controversial uh, a person on YouTube, so you probably either love him or hate him. Uh, but nonetheless, his account was shut and it made me realize that at any point my, my account could get shut. And uh, hopefully it won't. Um, I try to keep away from any type of copyright infringements. That's my obligation as a partner. Uh, and also, uh, I'm, I'm certainly within age, uh, as you could tell. Um, so I, I don't know why YouTube would shut down my account. They apparently give you warnings, but I don't check my email very often, so I'd probably miss those. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, as a, I certainly don't feel immune to an account closing uh, as a partner. Uh, they can close anybody at their own uh, for their own reasons. Uh, you, we assign on to terms of uh, service agreements and. Uh, I'm sure there's something I, I've done that would uh, cause YouTube to shut down my account. Uh, it, so if they do shut down your account, you want to make sure you've got other ways that you can be reached. So for me, um, I've got my Responsive Nults channel. That's one. They could shut down both Nults and Responsive Nults. Uh, but then the other two backups are willvideoforfood.com, which is my blog. And uh, if you type in kevinnults.com, uh, it'll redirect you currently to my Nults channel, but then I would just redirect that somewhere else. Uh, it, I suppose if YouTube booted me and didn't explain it, I'd probably get pouty and go to another site. Um, and then I would just have KevinNults.com redirect to that site, and I would post uh, that site uh, at Will Video for Food. So definitely have some alternative channels where people can find you. The other thing you can do is, it, is if you do get banned, uh, a smart thing might be to post a new video, tag it with your name so that if people are searching as I was this morning for Skihan, they can find out what's going on directly from you instead of having to look at a bunch of videos that speculate. Uh, by the way, if you have a really complicated name like Digital Soul or Smooth Operator where O's are replaced by zeros, just in general, um, you, you want to make sure that you have uh, a video that uses uh, the name as people would search it and uh, make that the title of your video, make that a tag of your video, and that way people can find you. It's uh, Whenever I forget Digital Soul's address, I do a search for Digital Soul, and it's like nearly impossible to, to find him. Um, and then finally, uh, some advice, again, unrelated to getting, getting banned or getting your account closed, is that uh, it's a good idea. I saw a recent video about Mighty Thor where he said to have a last will and testament shot and ready to upload. Now I'm not going to go to that extreme, but it's possible that something would happen to me in my life where I couldn't make videos for a while. And so probably you want somebody who you trust uh, to have your account uh, password and that way if you were incapacitated for some reason uh, they could post a video, video on your behalf uh, explaining what was going on. So there's some unsolicited advice for people to prepare and respond to an account closing and other, other matters and uh, hopefully it comes in handy to you. Okay? Cheers.